Good evening and welcome to the 6 o'clock Roznama Jawani News Bulletin. I'm Taqir Nasir. And I'm Mrs. Taqir. First, the headlines. A local imam at a mosque in Gulzail Hijri has said that naked electric wires are un-Islamic and should be banned. A local man believes that smoking causes women to instantly turn into sluts and two-dollar whores. Bilawar Bhutto Zardari has said that after much deliberation, he has realized that democracy is just an OK revenge. Better ways are available as well. And now, the news in detail. A local imam at a mosque in Gulzari Hijri has said that naked electric wires are un-Islamic and should hence be banned. The Imam of the Mosque, Haji Sayyid Shah Imam, was delivering the Friday sermon and while explaining un-Islamic deeds, got carried away in the passion and declared a fatwa against naked KESC electric wires. The Imam said that everything naked is un-Islamic, especially anything that has been termed as female. He said that since Nangi Tar is a female term, Nangi Tar is very un-Islamic. He added that it was KESC who was behind this subtle introduction of nakedness in our culture. He further added that in his culture, women are supposed to wear at least, but not limited to three layers of clothing to become unnaked and be socially acceptable. He added that it was clearly KESC who was the mastermind behind this shameful act. <laughs> The Imam's oratory fueled the people of the area and they left the mosque without saying their prayers to hold a rally against all Nangi Tars of the nation. The protesters turned violent when one of them pointed towards a KSC pole and yelled, Wo dekho wahan latki hui hai Nangi. The furious mob led by the Imam took down the wires and tried to set fire to the naked copper wires. A man was seen biting the wire with rage. The mob was chanting slogans against KESC and they were later joined by another mob which was protesting against power cuts. Our man in the street asked the people about their views. Here's what Pakistani public has to say about this. We are Pakistani, we don't have a right to be in our country. Look, you and I have to wear clothes. We are very better than the clothes. But you will ask the clothes that why are the clothes? Yes, they are very good. In another news, local resident Bashir Janjwa, who lives in downtown Lahore, said that smoking causes women and young adult girls to instantly become sluts and two-dollar whores. Mr. Bashir was discussing the issue with his friend Javed Chima after they witnessed a woman buying a pack of cigarettes from a store. Mr. Janjwa, after witnessing the purchase, expressed to his friend that the woman probably has a boyfriend waiting for him at home and they are going to have sex. Roznama Jawani has been able to secure an interview with Mr. Bashir Janjwa who said No, Sharif girls, uh, Sharif girls don't smoke. Uh, what they show in the movies, it's, actu it's actually true. Only bad, uh, bad women uh, and undies, uh, they only smoke. If there's a girl, she's not so bad. Look at a girl who, 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 who smokes, there's a need to get out of her room to become a whore. Mm, I have to agree with Bashir on this because he is going to drop me home later. Bilawal Bhutto Zardari has said that after much deliberation, he has realized that democracy is just an OK revenge. He added that there are much better ways available as well. The press conference was called at his Dubai residence. Speaking about democracy in Pakistan, Bilawal said he has grown older and wiser and now is starting to believe that there might be better governing models than democracy. Bilawal added that he was all for democracy as long as Pakistan People's Party kept winning. He further added that in his solitude at times, he thought about chopping Musharraf's balls and to him it felt like a good revenge. He said that it was symbolized how Musharraf didn't have the balls to stand up to Americans or the Taliban. Bilawal said that there were several other ways that could have been better than democracy. Expressing his views on the current wave of terrorism and violence that has taken over Karachi, Bilawal Zardari Bhutto said that he was not shocked. He said that these guys had it coming for a long time. He could just tell. He sort of knew it, way before they did, that these terrorists are going to be all up in their business. 
Bilawal added that he has upped his privacy settings on Facebook. We have, we have just received breaking news that an old computer table is now being used by a six-year-old sister to store her stuffed toys. I will repeat that we have just received shocking news that an old computer table is now being used by a six-year-old sister to store her stuffed toys. Exclusively on Roznava Javani, we have received information that a local six-year-old girl has turned her brother's old computer table into an illegal storage facility for her stuffed toys. And now, we have in our studios Iftikhar Jangra, who is a known political analyst and will be reflecting his expert opinion on a given topic, whatever that might be. Just last night, he explained to me how Imran Khan's tsunami is nothing but a wave in a bathtub because PTI supporters don't eat enough bananas. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Jangra. Thank, thank you for having me over, Mr. Trey, Mr. Nasir. Oh, you're very welcome, Mr. Jangra Saab. <laughs> um, Mr. Jangra, we learned yesterday that a man living in Karachi prefers it when it rains normally but doesn't like it one bit when it's raining men. Would you mind shedding some light on this? And I'm concerned how it will affect Pakistan's political scenario as a whole. Well, it's very simple. He must be straight. Or maybe the men who uh, rain down on him are uh, ugly. I remember it happened once with me and I didn't like it one bit, uh, one bit either. Of course no one likes that. No one I know likes uh, when, it, when men are pouring down on them. Well, of course you're mistaken about that. I mean, you obviously don't know everyone in the world. Yeah, that, uh, but that doesn't change the fact that uh, straight men don't like when men are raining down on them, uh, no matter how cute or muscular they are. I'm guessing... What good that will do to you? You are absolutely right, just like every time. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Jangra, in our studios. You're welcome. And that's all from the studios of Roznama Jawani. For more news, tune into our website www.roznamajawani.com.